Ascendus Health is a private healthcare company that hopes to list on the JSC this year. As a prelude to listing, the company has been on a major acquisition trail. It recently bought the popular brands of NIMU, Solal and Scientific Sports Nutrition. In studio now to talk about the company is Chief Executive Carson Wellner. Carson, thanks so much for Hi, coming nice in. nice meeting you. Really interesting story, your company. You've been on a major buying spree. Where's the money coming from? Of course, money is not easy to access nowadays. The banks are conservative due to the history of the last years. And we have to go to different sources. We went to private, uh, to private investors. We also use classical senior banks. And at the moment, we actually raised also via Standard Bank around 850 million rand in total, 500 million rand via Standard Bank and Sandlam, 350 million rand by private investors, management, and coast to coast in order to finance ongoing ac uh, the next acquisitions. And of course, one big thing for us is also in order to have our acquisition pipeline being financed, we want to go to the JSE, which hopefully we'll do in October. Yeah, so November. I'm going to get into the detail of, of the listing in yeah. a little bit, but first I want to ask you, three disparate brands, how do you choose investments? Mm -hmm. Our strategy is to invest in defensible businesses in the health sector. In health sector, we define a little bit different than normally the classical healthcare players. We call it health and care products. And we invest in products in the areas of animal health, plant health, and human health. And this is the distinctive difference to us to a typical healthcare player who has only medical control registered products, suspected to uh, uh, um, uh, prevalent to single exit pricing, all the market regulations and we invest in that area between consumer products and pharmaceutical products so health products but not really as regulated as pharmaceuticals mm. for these areas animal plant and human health some people would say that this is a classic pattern it's a prelude to listing you going out and buying stuff Yes, some people might say this. We see it completely different. We have a clear strategy, and the clear strategy is really defensible businesses and great brands. And if you look at the businesses, you just mentioned three. All the three are market leaders in their way. Okay, Nimu is probably number two in the market in South Africa. Uh, Solal is number one in, in the market in South Africa in, in nutraceuticals and anti-aging products. You mentioned sports nutri scientific sport nutrition is probably number three or four in the market, but if you look at the niche they're playing in, they're playing for the hardcore uh, gym enthusiast, then you could even say they're number one in the market. So we div they invest only in very healthy health brands. So really brands who have good good reputation, have either number one or number two market position, and are healthy businesses. And this yeah. is, I think, quite important because we don't go into businesses which need a turnaround. These businesses have weathered the storms through the South African market. They are doing well. They have found their market position. And there's a lot of potential with some of these brands for a further growth goal. And growth how do you forward. bed down the integration, or do you just leave the management team to do their own thing? That's a very valid question, and it depends probably on the businesses themselves. Some of the businesses, um, we, might, we cannot do this. Some of the businesses, we have to really start changing from the first minute. Other businesses, the business owners stay with us for two or three years. They are so valuable to the business, we don't want them to exit. We actually link them to the business for another two, three years. And together with the owners, we find their successor in order to implement then a new generation, some new ideas. So so we are playing sometimes the catalysator for their ideas, for their, for their changes, what they want to implement, but they can't. Mm. Sometimes family businesses run for 20, 30 years. Okay, the same so let's get on to details of the listing, which I'm sure our viewers really want to know about. When do you expect to list? Will it be main board? How much do you want to raise? We hope to, ra to uh, list around end of October, beginning of November. We are aiming for the main board. And of course, there are certain prerequisites we have to fulfill, and we're putting now at the moment the application together with the JSE. We're working with NetBank there. NetBank help, will help us to go to the, to, the, to the JSE. We want to list with, uh, the, with the target of approximately raising 400 million rand, 400 million rands, which we actually want to employ into two acquisitions, which we're pre 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 preparing at the moment in order to have them ready end of, end of the year. So, do you want to be the next Aspen? Is that the goal? It would be a fantastic task. <laughs> I know Stephen Saad very well for many years and uh, what he has achieved with his business is extraordinary. Yeah. And uh, we got asked this question once and we looked actually where was Aspen a few years ago. 
and where are we if you, uh, now? And if you look at our compounded average growth rate, if we would have owned the businesses we've bought, we have at the moment close to 20% sales growth and close to 20% compound average growth rate over the last six years on the profit side. Of course, there's a long way to go, but you reach for the stars. You, Absolutely. You what are you intending going forward? What is your, your five-year plan? Our five-year plan is an integrated company playing in the health and care area. And that's probably the difference to Aspen Pharmacare. Aspen Pharmacare is a healthcare player, typical healthcare player, and they focus on that and they are good in that. We think there is a room in the South African market, especially also on the JSE, for a new player who plays in that area between consumer brands and between healthcare. So have, has a little bit healthcare, has but also consumer brands. And if you look internationally, there are companies like Johnson & Johnson who have that. They have an animal section, they have a medical device section, they have a pharma section. And we think that's the right, within the, the right area we have to play in South Africa. Yeah, but it's the major difference between you and somebody like Aspen is that they, um, it's more medicines, whereas yours is not a luxury buy. Sports nutrition, Salal, Nimu, are they not luxury buys? There are products in the consumer brands, some of them very high priced, that's right. Some of them a little bit in the medium price, so be, because we want to invest or we invest mostly in good brands. So there, you could call them luxury, you could also call it lifestyle brands. These are wellness, lifestyle brands, preventative medicine. Now, if you take it again to Aspen, Aspen is an intervention medicine provider. They, they supply the products where you have to intervene into the health situation of a person. We have at the moment a lot in the preventative side, but we have also a little acquisition running at the moment, or little, uh, depends from where you look at, in the pharma sector where we're doing at the moment the duty on a pharma player, which will complement our range on health products for humans, and then plants and animals. Okay, so the goal is to be the next Aspen. What do you see as the major risks? Risk, of course, is when you, when you do a listing, you don't know what the market is at that time. And that's, that's of course, a big risk. What are your business risks? The business risks are definitely, we have to watch Forex, like every company in South Africa. But one thing we can watch this very nice is because a lot of our brands, which we want to internationalize, like Solal, like Nimu, they are South African brands. So a lot of the input happens in South Africa. Of course, raw materials come from China, from Germany, from England, from the UK, and so on. But there's more value creation in South Africa, and we want to take these brands and going overseas. So we try to hedge our risk with some of our brands where we import a lot, and other brands we're actually exporting already. Avima, one of our brands in the Phytovet division, is already exporting 50% of his business. Nimu is already in 25 countries worldwide with distributors. So they're also hedging their risks a little bit from a Forex point of view. But Forex, I would say, is, is a risk. The other risk you mentioned before is how do we integrate these businesses? Because sometimes it's family-owned businesses. You have to change a little bit. You want to keep the entrepreneurial spirit of these people, but you want to corporatize. And you have to corporatize, for, of course, for the listing, corporate governance, and so on. It's such an interesting story, so be, we'll be waiting for your listing in with much anticipation. Thanks so much for coming I'm today. I'm looking forward to talk to you again. All the best. Carson Wellner, Chief Executive of Ascendus Health.